Tourism is big business, both within China and from China. The country's vast middle class is venturing out in ever increasing numbers, and industry players are showing great interest in this huge market. On the eve of Macau's Global Tourism Economy Forum held from September 9th, Pansy Ho, hotelier and casino operator in Macau, speaks to China Daily Asia Weekly about the prospects of China's tourism industry. China is poised and and predicted by a lot of organizations, especially the、uh, UNWTO, to be the single largest destination as well as source of you know、uh, travel tourism tourists,、right? by 2020. Uh, the prediction is we will get to some 100 million in terms of outbound travelers. How exactly, you know, is China even going to cope with even you know future development and growth? So how is everybody, you know, actually taking hold of this opportunity? But also at the same time, maybe challenges. But more importantly, is are we ready for China? For who? What is crucial is gorging consumers' heads, Chinese tourists as well as tourists from other emerging markets. People are then going to become even more demanding. So when they come, they would need not just to stay a short span of time, just to hit all the so-called, you know,、uh, tourist spots. I think they would want rather to have that. Full experience. They want to be wine, dined, entertained,、um, and to also get a feel of the, the the cultural difference. And they want to be, in a way,、um, have a spiritual experience. Right now, a lot of、um, international branded hotels, for instance, are going to China. But after a while, yes, it did provide for a general kind of、um, framework、uh, when when there is a Certain、um, level of international standard, but beyond that, we need to talk about our own Chinese kind of branded tourism products and and tourism、uh, attractions,、um, and how to promote them, you know, abroad. Lack of talent is a hurdle that developing countries like China need to overcome. Ho said, "We have not enough trained people." There's a short period of time when suddenly, because of the economic development and and the affluence of China, now there's a great deal more demand. Except then, you know, you have, you're lagging behind in terms of being able to、uh, service all these new facilities and and so on. I'm sure that this would be、uh, a key point, and I hope that through the forum and through the discussions,、uh, people will come up with good solutions. Ho expects the forum to serve not only as a platform for dialogues, but also for promoting partnerships between the government and private sector. The government wants to do good, obviously, because in the end of the day, it is their own、um, resources, and they would like to also utilize these, you know, to help generate economic output. Except, the government is not business people. So, how you bridge the gap? Uh, you know, we would like to therefore bring upon some、um, experienced people who have done it before in the past, and to share their experience. Now, of course, we are not saying we are just、uh, following other people's,、um, you know, f- footsteps.、Uh, but we need to generate our own ideas because, after all, you know, China is not exactly the same, you know, as other places. We are much bigger and it's more complex. But I think you know eventually we we could be able to also find our own means of growth.